Hey, hey guys, it has been a long time since I've done a uh, Mergoloff Builds video, at least. I've been doing third world videos for the server that this is all on. But anyways, this is different. Uh, so, as the grand return, I have built the uh, palace to the uh, in the capital of Kasserin for the royal family. As well as some uh, government administration offices on the second floor, which I just remembered. I didn't actually put the offices interior. That's unfortunate. I'll have to update that real quickly uh, at some other point.
but this is the main hall. There isn't really anything functional here. There's a lot of foot traffic that would go through here. The uh, room's on the first floor here, and there is no basement or sub-level. It all goes upward. But uh, there's two different types of rooms on this first floor. Right here is a mess hall for the Royal Guard and the Royal Guard quarters. Sleeping quarters are in here. There's nothing in these chests yet. I gotta put some bread or carrots or something in those chests and some like armor and stuff. But here's some sort of practice dummies that they can whack on. And uh, this other room over here is just gonna be more mess hall. And the, that room over there is just gonna be another set of barracks. Up here is empty uh, government offices. I forgot to actually do that interior. I just realized that. It's kind of a bummer, but I would put some desks and stuff in there. Probably some leaves. Nothing over here. But up here is this spiral stairway that will first lead to the, the royal chambers, actually. We'll get to this in just a second. We're going to go into the servant quarters up here. This over here is a larder and, oh, geez, that's another thing I forgot. I need to put some signs up here to say what these rooms are. But this is the larder. Food and crap will be stored in here. Uh, over here, some servants' sleeping quarters and chests. A uh, table for the some of the servants who are off their shift to sort of sit and eat and contemplate their plebeian life. This room right here is the kitchen. There's just sort of water, a water well, and here's some uh, sinks and uh, some ovens and some countertops. Crafting table, sort of like a cutting board for cutting vegetables and meat and whatnot. More uh, servant beds and stuff. All these corner rooms are going to be servant beds. This here is the... Uh... God, I forgot what this is. This is like some sort of, like, not a servant really, but like the, uh, the living quarters for like some head honcho administrative person. Somebody who runs... Like, I don't know what the equivalent is. It'd be like the chief butler of the the palace. And over, yeah, oh no, no, yeah, this is the, uh, this room over here is like the, uh, the matron, the, the servant matron's sleeping area. She's in charge of all the, uh, servants. And I say she because, you know, that's like typically, uh, very, uh, a fantasy trope in sort of you know fan fantasy fiction literature. Uh, the head, the person in charge of the servants, is usually some old crone who's severe. This here is uh, the living quarters of sort of the the person, the administrator, the administrator of uh, the coming and goings of the royal palace. He's not a servant. He's not really a butler. He would be just a guy who keeps track of things. He's more like an accountant than anything. He's got books here, some bookshelves you can see. And I added some cobble cobble bookshelves just to be different than the usual like wood bookshelves. This bit one of my teeth. I don't know how that's possible. I just did it. And these blocks here. Oh yeah. I've taste some blood in the mouth. That's weird. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Um these blocks here, these stone blocks, they don't really do anything, they're just there. Just to, to fill the empty space. I was kind of on a rush to get this stuff done. And we've, we've seen all the rooms now. Over the, you know, that was the larder there. Oh, and uh, so there's some additional tables uh, in some of the corners here. Oh, there's two. Okay. I guess that's one of, if I got time later, I'll put some more tables. Oh, I'm hungry. Gotta go back to that larder and get those carrots real quick. Here we go. Not nearly as hungry. I think after I'm done making this video, I'm gonna make myself a sandwich because I'm hungry too. Even though I ate a pizza today. Uh, this is a sort of like a tower thing. 
I'll go outside the uh, the palace later and show what this is from the exterior. Then we'll go back down to the uh, the royal sort of chambers area. And sorry if I'm rushing this a bit, but I don't want this video to be like super ridiculously long. It's like probably at this point getting close to like 25, 30 minutes. Uh, this is sort of like the guest sitting area. This is sort of like a foyer almost. I kind of like this thing. I sort of incorporated a gazebo, an indoor gazebo, using these four pillars. Over here is just sort of a random room with paintings I put up because I wasn't sure what to do with this space. I'm sure like two weeks from now I'll think of, oh, this, this palace needs like a bathroom or something. Not not really a bathroom. I don't, I'm not going to waste time building bathrooms. But, uh, oh, I guess we'll just jump right into the, uh, the king's bedroom, the royal bedchamber. Uh, got some stuff like, uh, a table and some, uh, lounging couches here for conversation. There's a bunch of bookshelves, cause the king's got all kinds of stuff, information on his kingdom, history books. Up here's his favorite, up here in a loft, this is a loft. And uh, over here is his favorite reading spot. This is where he would go in the evening to study. The king would. Here's some, the official uh, flag of uh, Kasserin, a red ring on a white flag, because the entire city has a red stone ring around it. Uh, these are podiums here. This doesn't have anything on it, but just imagine some kind of rare archaeological artifact like a statue or something inside this case. Over here this uh, stand has a map of the city in the immediate surrounding area. You got some gold and for the, uh, I forget what they're called, like the bedposts I guess, I don't know. Not bedposts, but like the little knob round things that are normally at the top of the bedposts. Some unnecessary marble just to be opulent. Same thing with this, the regular stone brick pillars have been replaced with marble pillars just to be just so sh signs of wealth. Here's an empty room. I'm not sure what I need to put there. Uh, oh, the floor. Uh, the floor is stone for now, but when 1.6 comes out, I want to put some carpet on the floor. So the, the floors don't really look right for a palace. They look really bare and kind of meager, but once carpets are available, they will... I'll be able to make some like extravagant carpeting stuff. I probably I, don't, I probably won't make an update video about that, but just try to imagine like really cool carpet stuff. It's the only reason why it's like bare stone is because uh, just like doing it out of wool would screw up the uh, the roof down below. And I didn't want to double thick it or make it twice as thick. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Uh, this is the dining room, a dining hall, this is the king's chair right here, some tables, it's got a more. Instead of using fences and uh, pressure plates right here, I used just solid wood blocks to sort of to represent a more ornate uh, eating spot. The, uh, the material for the table is more extravagant. Of course, you can't really tell that. This is Minecraft, but that's what that is meant to represent. Here's some random uh, fresco, well not fresco, but like random plant foliage just for some decor. This is a conversation room over here. Uh, over here is uh, some princely bed chambers or something, I'm not quite sure. Extra beds, extra rooms, and some sort of lounge areas for relaxation. And this final room here is the drying room. We've got some clay pots to sort of represent uh, painter's cups. I don't know what their official names are. If you ever go into like an artist's or a painter's studio, you'll see that they have cups and they've got paint brushes inside their cups. I used to have a setup like that, but I don't paint anymore. Uh, and then we're back in this room. So that's pretty much, yeah, that is the entirety of the palace interior. And we'll take a quick fly around the exterior. Uh, as you probably saw before, most of the roof is uh, nether brick. Quite a lot of nether brick. 
Uh, oh, my friend Baslern as well, uh, off camera. I didn't record me building this interior here because it would just be awkward. Uh, but my friend Baslern helped me uh, place this uh, stone slabs because it wasn't all stone slabs. It was just straight out stone blocks like the rest of these cantons are, these platforms are. So he helped me out with that. I just wanted to mention that. So he, he helped me. Uh, so this is the exterior. I've got some random stuff. I don't remember the architecture. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I don't remember it exactly. But there's inlays, some indentations in the walls. I got some, uh, tried out something a little bit weird with these uh, cobble fences to add additional extra detail and uh, surface area to the walls there. And I probably should have done something similar to that up here. I might have been rushing a bit too quickly building this roof. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of almost like a dome, dome shape up top, but uh, I didn't quite have it pulled off to be a dome. I didn't feel like making a dome. That's a lot of effort. And I didn't think it would look any better than what I've got it right now. I think it looks just as good as what a dome would. Although I think I could have improved this by uh, making this like a much taller tower, I guess, and a bit uh, wider. Seems a little bit weird, I guess, to me that like uh, the transition of this wide or uh, this circumference of an uh, area and then this small tower has got a significantly shorter circumference. It's not quite as big as round. This is sort of like a keep at the top here. You can sort of look out if you want. It doesn't serve any purpose, truly. It's mostly just for the exterior aesthetics of having a little additional tower up top, because I thought it would look too plain, this top being just flat. Anyways, this is the Royal Palace of Catherine. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, it, it's, it should be apparent and obvious, but... I'm making more Miragoth Builds videos, and the way I'm going to do it, or the way that uh, by the time this goes up, the way I have done it, is that I'm, I've am i recorded, by the time this goes up, I should have recorded like a full season or something, not like a season, but like 30 episodes is the goal of Miragoth Builds, and that means the current date when I am filming this is May 28th. It's probably going to be a couple of months, like maybe two at the earliest, a month and a half before this gets uploaded. So I'm going to upload the goal, the plan. This could very easily change since there's going to be like a two month gap period. But uh, two episodes a week, maybe three, but definitely uh, upload a video on Monday and Fridays is my intention that might change because my uh, my I work I still work uh, crazy hours at my new job at a glass manufactory so sometimes I have to get up at four in the morning and work all day and sometimes I work all night so I might not get the opportunity to upload the videos when I say that I want to upload them but I will try thanks for watching guys and there will be more Mergoth builds to come